That's a good thing. Marty Nothstein coming out, and they got something to prove here. Jay Blake and that Permatex team machine. You'll see it shimmy when the car starts to slow down. Occasionally, that front end gets a little bit out of whack. Nothing to worry about. Easy for me to say. I'm not driving it. But Marty Nothstein was involved in a final round last week at the Lucas Oil Division race with Frank Manzo that was a dead heat. Mm. Margin victory, 0, 0, 0, 0, and 0 inches. And those are the kind of things you look back in your career and go, man, I had a chance to take out Frank, but let it get away. Jay Blake, the car owner there, actually was up in Washington, D.C. this weekend, giving some motivational speeches that he does, and then was here Friday, flew out Saturday. There he is back on the starting line now for this round. Now Mickey Farrow is hoping to be a little more competitive this season. He's, of course, trying to do like everybody else is in this class, knock Frank Manzo off the perch. It's not going to happen this year. That means everybody else better be doing some testing, looking forward to 2010. Great move off the starting line by Mickey Farrell, but it's too much Marty Nothstein at the end. 581, 250 miles an hour. And Jay Blake and the guys are moving on to the semifinals. He's got some parachute issues, Bob, down at the far end. Looks like he's going to get that car stopped without a problem, though. Yeah, we saw that parachute problem with that team at Englishtown, too, when he ran it off the end of the course, and they've got to get that thing straightened out. He went 581. They will not be happy with that performance. They'll be happy that they got the win, but a 5.81 is not what they were looking for. Mickey Farrell grabbed a couple of hundreds of advantage out of the starting gate. Mickey then slows to a 594, and they see the chute come out, and right away goes up underneath wow. the race car. A lot of smoke there, and none of those are good things. Chute's not coming out, smoke not coming out. Look at him locking up the brakes down there at the end of the racetrack, because he's done that before, going off the end of the racetrack. Did not want it to happen again. Good news is Marty able to make the left-hand turn, and that's down at the far end of the racetrack. With Marty Nothstein, and uh, Marty, parachute's not coming out. Kind of a little wild finish to your ride, but you're on to the semifinals. We are on to the semifinals, but not the way we wanted to go. The car... Really didn't perform up to its potential. It went out there, shook. I did a quick pedal job and ran it on down there. Uh, the shoot problem we're going to fix. We don't know what this is, uh, but we're going to find out what it, what the problem is and you know, hopefully not have that again. But for the follow Dream Team, Texas Roadhouse, Permatex, we're going to put this thing back together and you know we're headed to the semis. What can we ask for? Headed to the semis. A little disappointed with that 81 with an 8, but they're going to work on it and get it faster for the next round. For the guy that is a national and Olympic cycling champion, I guess doing a little pedaling on the racetrack should come second nature. Absolutely. I mean, he said it, not me.